All right, all right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, we are back. Let's uh, let's go see about uh, taking care of that oh so dangerous lion. The hell is this? Dream catchers. Interesting. Yeah. Just hitting all around here for some reason. Let me guess, it's gonna be another dog or a wild cat or somehow it's gonna be a goddamn horse or some such. Commotion. There an animal on the loose? Sure is. They got it trapped in the barn there. Thank you. All right, sounds like a wild cat to me. Hold your side. I am holding it. Hold yours. What's the ruckus, boys? Get back. We got a cursed creature in here. Oh yeah? It's as big as a mule and as mean as a hellcat. <laughs> it looked like a lion to me. That's a dog in there. No. Now, you excuse me. Step aside. Step aside. What? I said step aside. Some pride in how you look. Oh, dang dang it. Just realized my mic was off. Yeah, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna kick Margaret's ass. And then we're gonna go see Mr. Albert Mason, I believe. It was Albert, right? Oh, 
Margaret! Your lion's dead. You goddamn fool! Odysseus returns! Sally, get the cages ready! Yes, sir, Mr. Margaret, right away! A man eating lion. You didn't think that it might be useful for me to know that this time the animal was actually real, you moron? Steady on. I clearly stated that we were looking you for... You haven't clearly stated anything in all the time I've known you. That could have been a goose for all I <laughs> a knew. A goose? We'll hardly get them to their feet for the curtain call. Bring on the king of the beasts, on the other hand, and they feel the roar. And they, well, look about as surprised as you do. What have you done with him, if you don't mind me asking? I killed him. He's dead. Bloody hell! This is rum, old boy. Well, it was him or me. Now, pay me. Yes, of course, of course. I have just the thing. And what a treasure it is! You're a lucky man, sir. Very lucky man. From the mines of El Dorado, as green as the rainforest, as clear as the Amazon, and as dear as all the gold in the Andes. One man's labor is but a trifle compared to this jewel's true value. Wait! I shouldn't. What would Daddy say? Your Daddy ain't here, and we had a deal. Yes, of course. A promise is a promise. Sally, get the wagons moving. Ain't we waiting for the line? He's in the great hunting ground in the sky. Good day, sir, and thank you. But we really must be getting along. Yeah, I won't keep you. So long. So long, Mr. Morgan. Next time you see me, I'll be topping the bill, I promise. Or at least I'll be on the bill. Yeah, at least you'll be on the bill, but holy shit, I hope you stop working for him. Mr. Mason? Can I, there we go. Might as well see you before we head back uh, southwest or southeast. I think this is the fifth mission we've had for him, so he's probably gonna be over after that? I don't know. Yep. Yeah, I hope they got all that, uh, that lion mess cleaned up. That was insane. You can't turn me in. Yeah. This ain't just. If you did, you got a criminal here. Are we almost there? No. It's a beautiful day. Evening, afternoon, whatever you want to call it. You okay, boy? Getting closer. Oh, my God. Here, take this. Go easy, boy. Yeah. 
<laughs> she close? Is he right about around here? Is he gone? Yeah, he's gone. What the hell? Oh my god. I'm sorry. Yeah, nearly done, boy. Let's sleep till morning and see if he shows up. Up oh, there he is, he's back. Can't sit up there and come back to it, please. For the love of God, thank you. Cliff's Edge? Glorious. Mr. Mason? Mr. Mason. Oh, oh. Mr. Morgan. You want to be careful up here. Land is real treacherous. Sure. Real treacherous. I've been here before. Have you? Yes. Funny how things turn out. Never quite how you expect, is it? No, I don't suppose it is. What you shooting? Eagles. You know, the images, they really are beautiful. All thanks to you. I'd be some poor creature's bad meal by now, many times over, but for you. Oh, it's my pleasure. P please, you step away from the cliff edge. I'm trying to get an eagle there, there. Yeah, they're beautiful. But unlike you, they can fly. <laughs> Too true. You really must think I'm a buffoon, don't you? You think I'm such a dimwit, I'd just slip off the edge of a cliff? No, but, well, maybe a little. Please, sir. I'm dense. But not that dense. This area is quite safe. Quite. Quite. Oh, oh! Ah! Damn! <sighs> You're right. I am that much of a buffoon. Give me a hand, please. Put me out of my misery. Come here. Oh! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going home. You know, I really did get some, some amazing pictures, thanks to you. And somehow, I haven't quite broken my neck. You take care. And you too, sir. Sorry for all the trouble. Oh. Well, well, well. We uh, finished that off, Mr. Mason. Good luck, sir. Although, as we both know, I'm the one who needs it. The photographs. What are you gonna do with them? Find somewhere to exhibit them, I guess. I should hope you'll come and view them. Oh well. 
If, uh... If I can. All right, Mr. Mason. It's a pleasure hanging out with you. Yeah. Now let's see how this fast travel thing works. I did not know you could fast travel from your own camp. You would have saved a lot of time if I knew that. Easy, easy. Wait a minute, so let's say sleep. Back. Smell the fire. Oh, wait, no, I can just fast travel from here. And this gives me a bunch of places to go. Oh, oh my. Let's go to Saint Denis. Tornado? Let's go, uh, let's go see, see Mary's over there, there's another one over here, there's this one here, where, where are we, we're right there, so let's go, and then Charles is over there, let's go see Mary, she's been waiting long enough on us. Oh dear lord. Oh god. There you go. Arthur, you having a seizure there? There you go, oh, friend. Bless you, mister. Truly, you're a saint. <laughs> yes, sir. There should be more people in the world like you. God bless. Just down the road. It was like one of those radius things. Arthur! Arthur! Up here! You came! Yeah, I came. <laughs> so, uh, what do you need? Wait there. I'm coming straight down. Arthur. 
Mother. Hello, Mary. You came. Sure. Whenever you call for me, I'll come. Uh, oh, Arthur. What's wrong? Daddy. Your father? I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. I, I'm begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but... But surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her than... than... Than me? Than the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code. But your code is... Well, it's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you? And Jamie joining a bunch of crazies? An hypocritical daddy with his drinking and whoring and gambling? Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you, begging me for help? Oh, Arthur. Be kind to me. Please. I'm sorry. I am... I should have asked someone else, but... But I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. No, no. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. A lot. It all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? Come along, Dan. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur. You know sarcasm is beneath you. He's been gambling and drinking and other things. Oh, the filthy rotter. Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He suffers enough. Well, I suppose I can take some consolation in that. Oh, Arthur. I should have ran away with you years ago. Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. But... Well... I don't know. All right, let's move. So what do you think he's up to? I'm not sure. He keeps saying it's a disgrace. A man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. Standing? He's usually falling down. <laughs> Arthur. He wasn't always this way, but... It has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever, pawning things off left and right, mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Don't worry too much. Whatever it is, we'll work it out. That is why you called me for help, Dizzy. What's this all about? Let me go in and see what kind of a state he's in. Sure. I'll wait here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very funny. You can't stand there. What, in the street? Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just get out of here. Why? I said, just get out of here. Listen, partner. I'm waiting on a lady. She's a fine lady. She's just gone inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, You'd be dead already. But if you continue, 
to irritate me. I'll kill you. I make my apologies to the lady. It's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. Never been so to me in my life. Apology accepted. Oh, my old wait daughter. right there. I have half a mind to kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, Daddy, please, come home. You're tired, Daddy. Tired and I have no unwell. such thing. You get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. Damn nuisance. Excuse me, partner. Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur. He's up to no good. We better follow him. All right. Okay. On foot. This way. He went around the corner. That's all. See why he has such a high opinion of himself. We'll just follow the smell. Arthur, come on. <laughs> he just went between those crates. Don't lose sight of him. Huh. Quick. Mind where you go. Mind where you go. Sorry? Do you think he saw us? I don't think so. What did you say to me? I didn't say a thing insulting. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. <laughs> Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you! Ain't as respectable as he seems. You know, this is kind of fun. Shh, he'll hear you. You could have cleaned yourself up a bit. I didn't realize I was here to impress anyone. And there he goes. He just went left down that alleyway. What's he doing? Let's go find out. Acting like a drunken oh, fool, see, otherwise I don't know. Time. I'm just glad you're here. Well, that's nice of you. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Here. Here's the money. <laughs> mm, that is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. That was a mother's brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not even least to sell. Oh, it's just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself come, come killed. You don't understand. Mother left it to me. You <laughs> sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. You'll probably kill someone. All right, let's go get the brooch back. Hey, you, Ashton, hold her right there. God damn it. God damn it! Stop that coach! Get back here! You hearing me? Stop 
Chase Damn, after the wagon. Come on. God damn it. You stop right now. That didn't work. in the way spot for you mistake. so we can make some sort of a deal I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. hundred, what do you take me for? Okay, okay. Uh, I'm a reasonable man. Let's say 50. Not good enough, Ashton. Okay, Jesus. Twenty-five dollars, that's my final offer. Give me the brooch. Take the damn thing. Thank you. You crazy son of a bitch. You don't know who you're messing with. Somebody's gonna pay for this. Mm-hmm, sure. Just won't be me. No yeah. Mary. Again? Not really. Well, let's take a walk. I'll take you to the trolley. Thank you. Yeah, uh, got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Probably best not. Hey. What are you doing now, right this moment? Why'd you ask? <laughs> well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. Uh, head to the theater, perhaps. Uh... Theater? Me? Sure, why not? <laughs> It'll be fun, Arthur. Let's go to the Relure. They have the strangest acts. <laughs> strangest I can handle. Well, oh, it's the normal business of life. I can't seem to get a grip on it. <laughs> you and me both, Arthur. Oh, I've missed you. Don't start. <laughs> You're an idiot. But you'll always be my friend. Well, of course I'm your friend, but <laughs> you ain't always fair with me. If I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. Well, that's true. <laughs> so, shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try to for once in your brainless life. You're not a very nice woman, Mrs. <laughs> Lynn. Well, look at the company I keep. I know, it's quite dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's sort of beautiful in a gaudy and tasteless way. It's the only way I know. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, no, I didn't mean it like that. I... I'm sure. <clears throat> You silly man. Come on. Let's go find our seats. 
How about here on the right? Sure. After you? <laughs> oh, they're out on a date. It's lovely. Welcome! <laughs> and thank you for that thunderous applause. I am Aldridge T. Abington, the greatest assembler of entertainment since Nero himself. Do not doubt. As a child, we when I walked more. the horse manure covered streets of Saint Denis, I never dreamed of the stir I would create so, in this locality. Just as starting a or not. Are you of in a rush, Arthur? Show ever assembled. Prepare for the grandest excitement of your curiosity fire, snakes, and magic. I encourage any of you to dabble in all three if you have a settled aversion to manual labor as I do. For entertainment is a gift that will see you through the winter yep, better yep. than any packed larder or root cellar full of canned goods. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a truly stunning musical performance to the stage, Miss Robin Koninsky! Come on, let me make a move! Got shot down pretty quick. They come from Road Strawberry and Valentine, singing a song oh, and drinking wine. Across by you swamp and over the sea, we're heading down to San Denis. If you wagon is broke, yeah. to the blacksmith shop. Some of the crowd is just going wild. And singing and howling at the moon in the streets and alleys of each saloon. The rich and poor and the bourgeoisie, they's all heading down to San Denis. Friends didn't really give us much, except wine and grapes and fancy such and such. Pretend to be French, but can't you see? I'd rather live in San Denis. Yes, I'd rather live in San Pretty good. Y'all see that? Oh, oh. Flawless. Perfect. Oh, I see you. You you love her dulcet tones, right? Yes. She is pure spectacle, and I assure you she can charm any beast, any beast at all, from cockroach to killer whale. Your mother most likely told you not to play Woo! with fire or to great. spend time in the company of strange women. <laughs> you are about to do both. <laughs> Miss Antoinette Sanservino. Yeah. Ooh. Stop. 
stop it. Amazing. Okay, that was corny as shit, that dude who said sure that. Really go up in flames. go through the whole date with Mary see how it turns out Enchanting! Mesmerizing! She is truly one to bring home to mother. <laughs> it is said that there is a place in France where the naked ladies dance. I have been there. Prepare for the body braziers of the Petit Flaneur in Gay Paris!
Oh my god, Arthur. Oh, incredible! Aren't they lovely? Oh, those legs are a sight to behold. I am spent. <laughs> Each of my shows is truly incredulous. Oh, inspiring, and I'm How sure you enjoyed. Thank you. <laughs> we flounder through the morass of humanity with only bright moments like these before it all goes dim and snuffs out in silence. So thank you. What a lovely evening. Come back tomorrow. All right. Well, shall we? Yes. That was fun, Arthur. <laughs> it was. <laughs> All right. You better take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> Quite ridiculous, but somehow very amusing. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> My life wasn't supposed to... Oh. Is it too late for us, Arthur? I can't lie to you. Anyone close to me, well, they wanted to, and I can't have you wrapped up in there. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. I want to. More than anything, I want to. But I've got some people I need to take care of. Once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But Arthur... If we're gonna run away anywhere, we'd need money. Soon, I'll have some. I know you won't run away. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will, once I get some money. And I had some. But then some fool got her trapped into a town that I can't go back to. That's another story. I'll write you. Yeah. You know, sometimes I feel sorry for Arthur. Really, I do. Cause it's just heartbreaking. I know how it feels, man. Where is my horse? D did I mess him up? Running past him and uh, buy a newspaper. Can I can I buy a newspaper from you, kid? Oh, 
All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, when we return tomorrow, we'll see what else we can get up to with Arthur. But until then, I thank so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you're on YouTube, please like, comment, subscribe, all that to help me out. On uh, Twitch, drop me a follow if you haven't already, and I will see you all tomorrow. Mm.